Hello and welcome to this video lecture series on digital communication. We are discussing the information theory part and in that we'll discuss the Shannon Fano encoding. Shannon Fano encoding is used to convert the message into some codes. So I have some digital message and I have to transmit it. So the digital message is converted into codes with the help of information theory. From the information theory I know that the messages which have which are having higher probability carry less information and the messages which are carrying lesser probability carry higher information. So the messages which are having higher information I'll send them through large number of bits. So how these things are done we'll see in this Shannon Fano encoding. So I can say that it is used to reduce the redundancy. And plus if I am denoting the higher probability messages with lesser code words. So it is used to use the bandwidth efficiently. So let's take this example. So I have these four digital messages. So these four messages are having the probability P1, P2, P3, P4. So I have four probabilities and four messages. Now I have to encode these four messages. So I have probability P1, P2, P3, P4, which is 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8 and 1 by 8. The first step is to arrange them in the decreasing order of probabilities. These probabilities are already arranged in the decreasing order. You can see that. So I will not disturb it. Now after that I have to club the upper part and lower part such that the upper part is equal to the lower part. So if I put 1 by 2 in one club and 1 by 4, 1 by 8 and 1 by 8 in the next club. So at that time the upper probability is 1 by 2. Here I have 1 by 2. Here I have 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 which is 1 by 2. So the upper and the lower group are having same probabilities. So now I'll break it from here. So the next step is to code them. So I'll give 0 to the upper cluster and 1, 1, 1 to the downward cluster. Now again I'll repeat the step. I'll again divide them into two groups. So I have these three messages. Why I have to divide it? So these three messages are represented by the digit 1. So I cannot represent three different mes messages with the same digit. So I have to again classify them into clusters. So if I take the upper half as 1 by 4, so here I have 1 by 4 probability. So if I divide it by here, so here I would have 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8. So again 1 by 4, so again it is divided by half and half. So now again I'll encode them. The upper half is given 0 and the lower half is given 1 and 1. Again these two messages are given same encoding. So the two different messages cannot be having same code. So again I'll divide upper half. 1 by 8, lower half 1 by 8. Again upper half is encoded with 0 and lower half with 1. I hope now you understood various things. So we have various parameters which we can calculate from this line encoding. So first is bit length. L is representing my bit length. For this P1 the bit length bit is 0. So 0 is having 1 bit length. For P2 the, it is represented by 1, 0, so it has 2 bit length. For P3, it is represented by 1, 1, 0, so it has bit length 3. For P4, it is again represented by bit length 3. So L average, L average is represented by summation i is equal to 1 to n pi li. So I can represent as P1 into L1 plus P2 into L2 up to so on up to n so the minimum bit length minimum bit length is given by entropy i hope you remember the formula for entropy so this is the formula for entropy summation pi multiplied by i i i is equal to 1 to n so information is represented by log of 1 by p so efficiency Efficiency is given by minimum length over average length. So 
minimum length is given by HXI. So if I have to find out percentage efficiency. So now we will calculate these parameters for this symbol. So the average length is P1. P1 is 1 by 2 multiplied by L1. So L1 is 1. Second, P2. P2 is 1 by 4 multiplied by L2 which is 2. P3 is 1 by 8 multiplied by L3 which is 3. P4 is 1 by 8 which is multiplied by L4 which is 3. So when I computed it, the average length came out to be 7 by 4. So the probability is multiplied by log of 1 upon probability. So for first the probability is 1 by 2, for second it is 1 by 4, third it is 1 by 8, fourth it is 1 by 8. Again it came out to be 7 by 4. So efficiency is equal to 7 by 4 divided by 7 by 4 is equal to 1. So if I need to find out efficiency percentage, 1 is multiplied by 100 which means it is 100% efficient. So, now we look at these two examples. So, now here I have 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So, these are already in the decreasing order. So, I need not to alter the order. So, the first thing is to make them into two groups. So, I have to make two groups such that upper half and lower half are equally divided. So, if I take the separation from here, the upper half is having 0 0.4 probability and the lower half is having 0 0.6 probability. Or I can do the reverse, the upper half has 0 0.6 probability, lower half has 0 0.4 probability. So, these two possibilities are there. So, upper half is coded with 0, lower half, lower half is coded with 1. Again, upper half is coded with 0, lower half is coded with 1. So, these are two ambiguities. So, again, I am taking 5 probabilities. The 5 probabilities are equal, which are 0 0.2. So, now I have to arrange them into decreasing order. So, if I give these set of symbols to two different students, two different students, can make these two clusters and accordingly they have different codes. So, the first student has this code and the second student will have this code. So, again the first student will divide it from here. So, because two messages are sent by same code which can't be happening. So, I'll divide it. The first message was sent with 00, zero second message with 01. Again, if he has to divide it, he can make two clusters. He can divide it from here. So, if he divide it from here, upper half would have 0 and lower half would have 1. So, upper half would have 0 0.2 probability, lower half would have 0 0.4 probability. Similarly, he can divide from downside as well. So, let's take a simple example. So, he divided from upside. Now, these two messages are represented by same encode. So, again, you will divide. So, this is 0, this is 1. So, now I need to find out L. So, L is 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. So, in the second encoding, upper half all 3, lower half 1, 1. So, again, he will divide from here. So, 0, 1. He can divide from here or here. So, first he took the upside div division. So, it is 0. So, he took the lower side division because he, he was already taking lower side division. So, these two are represented by 0. This is by 1. Again, he will divide. So, 0, 1. So, now the bit length is. So, if I need to find out the average bit length. Here also if I find out L average. So in both the cases I saw the average bit length was equal. So I can say these two encoding are equally efficient. So if I do the partition from upside or downside, 
I'll get the same efficiency. But it is actually seen that if you partition from upside, actually this type of partition is preferred. I'll conclude my discussion here. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, press the like button and share it also. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you.